Hello, Masaka Universe. I think this is perfect. Uh, first day of European qualifiers in November and I can already wear one of my new shirts. The other one actually uh, that I got. Um, we have four new qualifiers and of course the checks among them. Again, I really like this one. This crest is the one I want to see on the checks. It's, it's gorgeous in every regard. It makes sense. I don't like this new little logo, but you know, corporate logos. You saw my video what Austria is doing and others. <sighs> Put a national symbol on there. Have your co own corporate logo and then be done with it. Um, I would say we run uh, through the groups I watched, um, how to say, two and a half games, <laughs> something like that. Um, I had, uh, I of course watched uh, Turkey Iceland, but I quickly got not as concentrated because honestly the game was not that good. Um, and then I had on the main screen the um, uh, Czech Kosovo matchup, which was a really uh, interesting game, let's put it that way. Um, it was not boring at all. And then uh, on the other screen, uh, screen, I was switching around until I found an interesting game and it turned out to be France Moldova. Go figure. Um, shall we start in group uh, H? Maybe that makes sense. As I said, uh, Turkey against Iceland. Turkey needed one point, Iceland needed to win. The game was not good at all. And it already took a sour turn for me very early on when the Turkish spectators just cheered the jeered the anthem a whistling booing all kind, kind, kinds of things just at a time when I was really thinking okay yeah I really took a liking to this Turkish team and then I don't mind these military tributes I know it's not UN sanctioned whatever but you know I understand their national identity I not as mad as others are let's put it that way but that made, made me mad. Uh, I didn't like it when Italy did it in 2017 against Sweden. And I didn't like it here either. I think it's not what... Uh, this has to be taken out of uh, soccer. Uh, you wear the respect logos here and then nothing is happening. Anyway, the game was really not good. Uh, Iceland, for the longest time, hit back. And I think Turkey was so nervous they didn't want to commit any they had half chances. I think the biggest chance came in the second half um, when from the right at a very acute angle it was a cross coming in and hit the bar uh, and something like that he, uh, happened late in, in the game as well but Iceland didn't show up until the 80th or something like that when they realized okay we, we better get a goal here and they almost got it. It was cleared off the line um, and at that point actually Iceland looked more threatening than Turkey was. Uh, and as I said, and there was another one uh, for Turkey, this time from the left and far out. Uh, it was meant to be a cross and again hit the bar. So Turkey came closer to scoring, although that one chance by Iceland, yes. Iceland then had a few opportunities, but Turkey just put many bands in the box and hung on. And uh, celebrations, um, they not only qualified themselves, but also enabled France to qualify. Uh, speaking of France, uh, as I said, I did not immediately join the action because uh, I thought there are other games that might be more in interesting, uh, mainly because I already watched a game of Group H. But we will see Portugal got quickly out of hand, England got quickly out of hand, so France it was, because this not get, they did not get out of hand at any point. Quite the opposite. Um, I don't know what Longley was doing there. I mean, it seemed like he was juggling the ball back, 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 back until uh, Rata just takes it away from him and puts it in the net. 1-0 Moldova. That's where I joined in. France tries, but uh, Moldova with a very uh, spirited defensive effort. Uh, France though gets the equalizer before they have, um, where the goalkeeper gets the ball, but then bumps into Giroud, lets the ball lose Giroud, <laughs> and Varane heads it in, makes it 1-1, uh, one, one. and then France really brings everything at Moldova, but Moldova is defending so nicely in a, in, in a way that I th really thought they would deserve the point. Uh, the only thing I was not, I thought if France wins that one, they will probably win also the group, which um, is for seeding, not unimportant. Uh, it gotta be said also, um, 
my prediction is that France wins. So that was the only thing. But I have to say, a spirit effort. They give up a penalty. It was a penalty. Uh, and she who slots it home in the 79th and gives France to win. But that was by a hair. Uh, by a hair, this group actually did have another surprise. Albania took an early lead uh, through Balai, but Christian Martinez in the 18th equalized for Andorra. And then, what I think is the goal of the evening, in the 48th, Christian Martinez makes it 2-1 Andorra away from home. That goal from Marti those goals were the second and third goal for Andorra in this qualification. I think Andorra won once, and that was it. Uh, so he gets the ball, uh, chips it up and slams it in the net. Wonderful, wonderful goal. And uh, there were two Andorra uh, strikers so close to each other that I thought this cannot be anything. But yes, it went. Really, uh, if you have a chance, watch the one. Wonderful goal. Uh, Mana shortly after makes it 2-2, but Andorra hangs on and gets a point away from home. So uh, that's it. Definitely interesting. Uh, that Andorra can get such, such, such a result. Now in the table, France overtakes Turkey, 22 points. Uh, Turkey has 20. Both are qualified. Iceland has the playoffs. Uh, most li uh, yeah, we will see. Very, very, very likely. 16, uh, Albania 13, and then Andorra is now ahead of Moldova, four and three points respectively. Um, Let's go then to Group A, because that, I think, was really um, where most of the action was. England makes short shrift of Montenegro. New Jersey is for Montenegro again. Um, I joined when it was already 1-0. No, 3-0. That's when I was looking or something, or something like that. Uh, Oxford Chamberlain in the 11th made it 1-0. Uh, no, it was 1-0. Exactly, it was 1-1 one, one, one and decided that and then I looked another time, it was already 3 0. Kane adds 2 in the 18th and the 24th, Rashford in the 30th, Kane in the 37th again, then an own goal for Sofranac and Abraham, Tam Abraham in the 84th makes it 7 0. Uh, England has gotten some pretty impressive results in this qualification campaign. They have just one loss to, to the Czechs, but overall, England looked uh, like to be toying with this group, and that win more or less secures their uh, uh, secures their passage. But uh, that was also aided, of course, by uh, the results by the Czechs. But they needed one point, and they got it in the one thousandth um, international match. That's also a result of note. But the action actually was in Pilsen, and please. It's Pilsen, not Plutzen or whatever. It, this is where uh, this is a town where the beer that you drink is coming from Pilsen or Pilsen, Pilsen in uh, Czech. It is nothing else. Plutzen for me, if you say Plutzen, you disqualify yourself. Get a little, get a grip and look it up. I mean, uh, if you're drinking Pilsen or beer, that's the beer that's brewed in the tradition of that town. Okay. Having that rant out of the way, uh, the Czechs actually dominated early. Um, had a really good chance that was just saved by the goalkeeper. Uh, where you wonder, I think it was in the ninth or tenth minute, where you really wonder how did that uh, not make it um, in. Uh, the Czechs, again, with most of the players, I think from Slav, Slavia Prague, a really spirit performance, but uh, Kosovo came back. Um, Kosovo actually with very nice uh, new jerseys, white with a blue bar and then a yellow number in, in there, actually like those. Still by a manufacturer 14. That's the fourth type of jersey that they're wearing uh, during this qualifying campaign. They had yellow ones before. Uh, so it got rather even towards the end of the half. I also need to, I just read that there were some chance against Kosovo for other Czech supporters. A child shouting, um, call, call Kosovo Serbia, which I find. Oh, please. Don't be so stupid. Don't be so stupid. I think uh, tensions are really high in Europe at the moment, in certain cases. This is um, the lowest level ever. Support your team. Don't cheer against uh, the others. Anyway, the game was a good one, especially in the second half when Ante Nuhiu, and actually we know this guy here in Austria because he played for Ried and I think Rapid, uh, scores with a header make it 1-0 for Kosovo and you could see it deflated the Czech audience hugely, completely deflated them um, and it took the Czechs a long time to get going again uh, and in the end 
it was a wide range shot from Kral in the 71st that made it 1-1. One, uh, one. And then an incredible C sequence where within, I think, two minutes the checks twice hit the bar. Um, and then when you thought, oh, this is not their day, uh, the um, goalkeeper for a cause so was spills a shot. It would have gone over the bar, he gets the touch on it, cannot hold on to it. Gives the corner cor cor away from that corner, the check score. Uh, Kral with a header that is then by Celushka. Uh, deflected into the net and makes it 2-1 for the Czechs and the Czechs have it a rather easy holding on then and also qualifies. So we have the England and the Czechs have qualified the same as Turkey and France. Uh, no qualification occurred yet in uh, Group B where Portugal gets a rather easy 6-0 win over Lithuania. Guess who was scoring a lot of goals? Yes, he did it. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo from a penalty and in the 22nd, 2-0 at the half. Then Pizzi and Paciencia um, add two more in the 52nd and 56th. Bernardo Silva in the 63rd makes it 5-0. And Cristiano says, well, I gotta get in on the action more. Makes his third in the 65th. I have often Bernardo Silva assist and that's where it stands. Um, Portugal does not qualify though because Serbia manages a win. Two goals by Mitrovic. Um, Pretty nicely taken. I mean, the second one took, took, took a deflection. If that was really meant that way, this would have been an uh, awesome goal. Fortunately, it wasn't a deflection. It's 2 0 at the half. Rodriguez puts one back for um, Luxembourg in 54th, but Radonjic in the 7th basically seals the deal, though. Turpel can pull one back. So, uh, in that table now, Ukraine still haven't played, is still qualified. Portugal and Serbia, 14 and 13 points, and they play. Um, Serbia plays at home to Ukraine. They need a win there, um, and if they win, then um, they need to hope that Luxembourg gets something against Portugal. Very unlikely. I think Portugal will get the win. It's in their own hand, and that's that, and Serbia has to go through the playoffs. So if we look now at where um, we stand, um, I, this is the graphic that I used in my um, review. Uh, the last time around, we have that um, the um, teams qualified: England, the Czechs, Ukraine, Poland, France, Turkey, Belgium, Russia, and Italy. Um, those are the qualified teams. Uh, these are the teams that now, now project will join them. I think Portugal, Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, Denmark, Croatia, Slovakia, Spain, Sweden, Austria, and Finland will join the party. I think it. Uh, there's only very few where I am not uh, so certain. I think, um, you know, Switzerland, Denmark, I could Ireland could uh, go in, uh, Croatia, Slovakia, that is not quite open, Hungary and Wales could go in there, we'll see that. Um, also Sweden, probably not as certain. And with that, this is what I think will qualify and I also project in the following playoff pairings. Um, if you want to see how this is determined, go back in uh, my channel I, in the last review where things are. Uh, the Group A playoffs Iceland is in there, um, would play Romania and then Israel and Hungary, and the, uh, they did not, anything did change, the only thing that changed is that we have four more qualified teams. Well, let me know what you watched, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.